Most of us are living out our days in our homes and behind our screens. While many of us are alone, our conversations and online habits are now more public than ever. When you go into these Zoom meetings and somebody's recording, it makes it seem like it's a one-to-one -one conversation, but it's not anymore. Patrick Jackson, a privacy and security researcher, found many recorded Zoom calls by searching a specific file name online. Jackson says Zoom uses the same default file name for everyone, which makes it easy for him to find online. Zoom doesn't host the files, and it's the users who upload them. Once you record it, and you fail to secure it, who knows what may happen to that file and then who may end up watching that video. Not only should you be cautious of recorded conversations, but what you're doing on your work computer. Your employer may be watching your habits if you're connected to their network. And if your work requires you to browse websites, make sure you're going to encrypted ones. And the easiest way for, for you to tell is, is like a green padlock when you're visiting different websites. And if you don't see that, then maybe you want to think twice about what you're putting in those. Patrick also suggests for people to get rid of apps you don't use or do your research before you download another one. One of the ways we're able to limit the amount of data companies are gathering is to turn on the limit ad tracking under settings and then the privacy tab on our iPhone. While we're staying at home to help slow the spread of coronavirus, make sure to be aware that there are other threats living online.